This question is uh, scary looking, but it's testing just like one idea that we need to know for exponents. And then you probably do know when it's not like a million things going on at once. Basically, what, what, what happens when we multiply uh, two numbers or two values, I guess, that have exponents, and what happens to them? How do we combine them um, when we multiply them by each other? So uh, the rule is that we add the exponents. And you know this, right? Because if we think about it, what is x times x? Well, that's x squared, right? Because it's x to the first times x to the first. We're adding the one and the one to get two. Or if we had x squared times x to the first, well now we have three x's, so that's x to the third. So we're adding those exponents. Even sometimes when we don't write the exponent because it's an x to the first, it's still there, it still matters, so it's still going to kind of impact it in the same way that this rule is gonna work. So let's see here, we just have uh, three po components. We have the two m, so it's, even though they're in parentheses, everything's just being multiplied here. So we have m to the fourth, uh, times m to the first, so that's m to the fifth. We have q to the fourth times, oops, let's make sure my handwriting is good, times q to the fifth. So now remember those are being added. I think this is where we start to get tempted because they're bigger numbers to be like, oh, it's q to the 20th. No, 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 that is an answer, but no, we don't want that. This is gonna be q to the ninth. And we're starting to get somewhere, but let's finish it up because we do have the weird negative so z to the negative one times z to the three. And again, we add these exponents. So negative one plus three is two, right? Two, uh, three minus one is two. So now we're just looking for an answer with that. So I can see it looks like it's gonna be b, m to the fifth, q to the ninth, z squared, done.